live now to a young man who uh, was in the band Envy, who played the North East pubs and clubs, and he's uh, also doing a Michael, um, a George Michael, I should say, tribute show as well. So we go live now to Jay Francis. Good morning, Jay. Good morning, Sue. And how are you? Were you working last night? I was. I was last night, actually. Uh, yeah, I was, at the, I was in Middlesbrough last night at the Dormans Club. Awesome. <laughs> that was a good night. People like yourself will be just waking up on a Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit croaky from the night before. A little before. bit, a little bit, a cup of coffee and I'm fine. Absolutely. Now, you've got this event taking place at the Lancastrian Suite. Tell us about that. Um, it's, it's basically, it's a, it's a charity evening for uh, an aid of breast cancer and the Macmillan nurses. Um, you know, it's a cause that it affected me and you know, the family last year, you know. Um, you know, they reckon now one and two people get get cancer at some point in their life, you know, it's quite a scary fact, isn't it, you know, and um, I've seen it first hand last year, you know, with my mum, um, she, she, she got breast cancer, so, and I did go up to the hospital a couple of times, you know, to Queen Elizabeth with her when she was getting that um, chemo, and it, was, and it was just, it was shocking to see all, you know, there was wards full of people just getting this chemotherapy put into them, you know, and it was, it was such an eye-opener. It's a bit of a reality check, isn't it, Jay? It was, it was. It was scary, you know. Um, but they do a great job up there at the Queen Elizabeth, you know, helping people. And um, I just thought, let's do a charity show and help these people, you know, and raise as much money as possible so we can try and beat this. And Now, I've met your mum, and I have to say she is an extremely attractive lady. Yeah, yeah, she was, you know. Very glam. The, the word is glamour, isn't it, really? Very glamorous and very proud, you know. And I think, I think that, you know, when you get into chemotherapy, you know, the, it does obviously, you know, do great jobs with the cancer, but, you know, the, the effects of it are horrendous, you know. It's seeing, seeing people's hair fall out, eyebrows, and, you know, it, it was quite shocking, you know, to see the effects of it. And, and how's she doing, your mum? She's doing, she's doing well, yeah. She's finished all uh, the treatment as such, um... She's finished the chemotherapy and uh, and she had have radium, but it's all it's all finished. And you know, fingers crossed that's the end of it. You know, she's still got the effects of the chemo, which lasts. Well, I've, I've, I think it's about twelve years now for my mum, and she, she's yeah. yeah, twelve years, and wow. she's still you know going strong. I'm having lunch with her today because I can't be with her on Mother's Day because I'll be oh. here doing all your lovely messages. Uh -huh. But. Uh, when it's you know when when the the news came along um, and you threw most of the the treatment with your mum, do you look at life differently now? You do, you do. You know, to be honest, I, even like family members, you know, you, you look at you look at it different. You, you you live you live your life each day, don't you? As if it's the last one. That's what I do now. You know, you, nobody knows how long you're going to be here. And you know, as I say, then one and two people get get cancer at some point in their life, so it's quite a scary fact, isn't it? So you've just got to enjoy yourself and live, live each day as, you know, as your last. Every day is special, isn't it? It is, it is, definitely. So the event's on at the Lancastrian Suite. When? It is on, but I've got my poster in front of us, on the 2nd of April. It's on a Thursday night. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and I thought just before the Easter that would be a good one to put it on, you know, midweek and things. And a lot of the acts would be working weekends who I was going to ask to appear, um, so I thought the Thursday night would be great to have it, because people would be off on the Good Friday, you see. And it is, it's a fantastic room to perform in, the stage is awesome. Yes, it's massive, it's, it's a big stage, yeah, so, and I've got all, all my mates, have, you know, gladly give the time up, all, for, you know, all free of charge, so all the proceeds go to the charities. Now, and we haven't got time to mention all of them, but uh, just name a couple of the, the acts that are performing. Uh, we've got Lorraine Crosby, we've got James Aston doing Michael Jackson, my band Envy's getting back together for that night, we've got Jeff Mull from The X Factor, Karen Kennedy doing Adele. We've got the Shelley Stevens band, so there's lots on. There's lots happening. Sounds like a great night. And how's your George Michael tribute going? It's going really well, to be honest. <laughs> Last year was a fantastic year. I travelled, you know, all over Europe doing shows all over, you know, Greece and Egypt and Turkey. Well, wow, it was great. Let's hope it continues. I thought uh, we'd pull this one out of the bag for you. It's George Michael and Faith. Jay, have a great gig. Can I just give the phone number? To, can I allow to do that over here? Uh, the Lancaster Suite? Well, uh, we, we have that phone number, so if anybody's stuck for it, we can take the call, all They're right? They're selling the tickets, yeah. Okay, thank well, you. Cheers, Sue. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Jay Francis. Bye-bye.